M. S. Swaminathan, father of green revolution in the country, is a man of multifaceted talent who devoted his whole life for making the country self-sufficient in agriculture. Whole world is grateful to him for the green revolution. Today in our segment, Meet the Scientist, we will have a talk with Professor Swaminathan. The green fields of wheat, maize and millet all around the country are the result of the green revolution after which the agricultural lands of the poor started to yield rich harvests. Famous scientist Professor M. S. Swaminathan is responsible for making the country reach this height. Professor Swaminathan is also known as the father of green revolution in India. He gave a new direction to the agricultural technology in the country. I made an analysis in 1968, before the term green revolution was coined. What are all the likely repercussions? Uh, by overdrawing the water, by excessive use of pesticide. I gave a lecture at the Science Congress in Varanasi on January 4th, 1968 on this topic. Then I thought we should coin a term uh, which expresses how ecological principles or environmental principles can be married with technology mainstreaming ecology with technology development and dissemination. So I coined the term evergreen revolution. Evergreen revolution means increase in productivity in perpetuity without associated ecological or social harm. Through eco-technology, he succeeded in connecting not only India, but also the world with the evergreen revolution. Professor Swaminathan developed high yielding wheat and paddy varieties which were well within the budget of big and small farmers. And uh, the aim was to develop new varieties of wheat or new varieties of rice which can respond to irrigation and to good soil fertility. Because our first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, when we became independent, he said, everything else can wait but not agriculture. Then he promoted more scientific research. A uh, large number of new institutions were developed. Agricultural universities were developed. While he was graduating in zoology, the country was dealing with scarcity of food. Seeing this situation in the country, he made up his mind to do something about it. To achieve this goal, he got his master's degree from IARI New Delhi and PhD in plant breeding from Cambridge University. And I thought to myself, how can I help my country? It occurred to me not by running a hospital, but by really helping to solve the food problem. Therefore, I changed my course uh, from going to medicine. I went to agricultural college at Coimbatore. Took an agricultural degree, came to Delhi to the Post Science Institute, and then went to Holland and Cambridge and so on. Equipped myself very well uh, to develop new varieties of crops. He has been awarded with the highest awards of the country for his numerous contributions in the field of agriculture. He has been awarded with Padma Shri in 1967. Padma Bhushan in 1972 and Padma Vibhushan in the year 1989. So for the first time in our, in, in our history, there is going to be a bill, uh, food security bill, which makes access to food a legal right uh, so that everybody will have a right to have food. That's a very great transition because when we became independent, even until the mid-1960s, we were leading a ship-to-mouth existence. We had to wait for ships from America or somewhere else to come, what was called a PL-480 wheat. In fact, in 1966, we imported as much as 10 million tons of wheat under PL-480 program. From that time onwards, from ship to mouth to right to food, is a very big, very big uh, transition. In addition to receiving World Food Prize, first started in 1987, he has been decorated with more than 50 PhD degrees and many other awards still now. Professor M. S. Swaminathan, who is among the 20 most influential people in the country, comes across as a very simple man in his personal life. He is known for his dynamic personality and numerous contributions. 